Are we recording? Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, we're we're about just, this right. is what we're we do. About, we're talking about yeah. Jim. Nobody welcome to the Duck Call Room podcast. That's no, your nah, ain't gotta, We ain't got to welcome oh. nobody. This is what it is, man. We're yeah. just talking about teal season. That's why. Teal mm. season, the mosquito season. Oh, yeah. Cotton mouth. Cotton mouth. Cotton mouth copperhead. Copperhead. Rat, rattlesnake. See, we got them all. Alligators. Right? Alligators. Yep. We got the five species of poisonous venomous snakes. There we go. I would say teal hunting has <clears throat> more dangerous. negatives than positives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah when I try we, to look at something. I, I, I try to do the pros and cons deal. You know, I can't. I can't. Look at till season and say it has more pros than yeah, cons. because you got the uh, five poisonous snakes, venomous, yeah. venomous yeah. snakes. Oh, okay. look at that! That's then you got the purple tail wolf. Look, si, si, look. I know, nasty. <laughs> 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 then you got the, he said the I know. yellow jackets, purple tail wolves. Okay, yellow yeah. jackets. Yellow jackets. Then you got the recluse spider. Brown recluse. Okay, you got the black widow black spider. Black widows. Okay. Is this the five? That's about nine yeah, that's, things that can yeah. kill you. Grizzly that. bears. That's just what's by your okay. head in that yeah. hobbit black. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the hobbit that's black. what's waiting on you at the door. Yeah, because if, if you, you, you get past gonna, the door, yeah, if you actually get. <laughs> Hit one of them like that, and there's a big old purple tail wall snake up there. They fixing to tear your butt up. Mm-hmm. Okay. How often have you happened. been torn up? The worst one was is man field or squirrel hunting on Mister Grimes' land, where he's got a big old pecan orchard one way, and then on on going down, okay, is a sloop where we hunted squirrels and ducks. We crossed a barbed wire fence. Fields first, of Uh-oh. course. <laughs> that, you Older just brother. broke our rule. Okay, so he shakes this barbed wire fence, and one of the poles that holds it up has rotted out. Yeah, this so it's ain't free, good. So it's free riding on that barbed wire. This ain't good. And look, and there is a whole bumbo bee pack. <laughs> bumbo <laughs> bees. Pack. Okay, this thing is packed with bumbo bees. Bumbo okay? bees. And Phil is over there when he's crossing, shaking this thing like this, so... <laughs> I happened to go in behind him, but when I did, I heard a rip. Okay, I done tore my blue jeans on barbed wire fence. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hell yeah. And white underwear are hanging out. So he takes off running. I do, too. Well, I was thinking what to do. I had seen the show like three days before that. So if they're chasing you, fall, and they will fly over you. And you're good to go. So I was watching Bugs unknown. Bunny. <laughs> oh, no. But unknown to me, I didn't know that the, the target had been put on my rear end. Okay? That white flag waving. Yeah. And here's, here's what I told them what it was like at school. Okay? Because they asked me, what did y'all do the other day when y'all skipped school? And I had to tell them. So I said, well. Wait, you skipped school for this? Uh, yeah, oh, well, we went squirrel hunting. Yeah. And they didn't mess the squirrel. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> you know, when I fail... Here, here they are. They're, they're B-52 bombers up here. Mm-hmm. They're up there like 20,000 feet looking down, okay? <laughs> and the guy that's the leader of the pack of these bombers, okay, he goes. <laughs> that's the and one. Then, hey, then they, all them bees, just, they don't want them. And here they come. <laughs> what What kind of bees were those? Bumble bees. Bumble bees. bees. Yeah, <laughs> big ones. The big one, about bees you thump. <laughs> My mother is at the house when I come home. She's got a pair of tweezers in her hand. Drop your drawer, son. Let me go ahead and start getting all these stingers out of your rear end. And she's laughing the whole time. And I said, Mama, it ain't that funny. How many stingers? She said, oh, from my viewpoint, it is. She said, because here's the deal. Your butt will never be this big again. She was right. And she was right. (laughs) Okay. But, hey, she counted them 27 times. Is what they popped me. Ouch. On your butt? On my butt. On that white flag. On that white flag. And I was running just (laughs) crushing them. I had... I bet you I had 30 dead bumblebees in my underwear. Well, you you had at least 27. (laughs) You won the war. They nailed me. That's funny. Them bumbo bees, they're the oh, worst. Oh, the And used to, we'd take things like this. <laughs> Not to be confused wider. with a bumble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, out the barn, you'd go out there and they'd be buzzing around. And, hey, you'd take them and knock them on the ground. Uh-huh. Well, you, you better kill them. Yeah. Because, you better not hey, miss. I done, oh, no. I done this. And pop. 
he hit the ground. And just as soon as he hit the ground, he jumped up and he popped me right there. On the nose? For, yeah, for two weeks, <laughs> I looked like Jimmy Durandy. My nose was that big around. Okay. We're back on that Jimmy I, Durandy. I could not even see. I had to walk this way. <laughs> Walking sideways, boy. <laughs> walking sideways. Uh, walking sideways. I'm gonna I, for the listeners that didn't listen to whatever episode oh, he's got it was. A snoot. Now look at the snoot he's got, boys. <laughs> we gotta bring up Jimmy Durandy <laughs> Jimmy pictures. Jimmy Durandy. The man had a big nose. Oh yeah, hey, oh, yeah. it made him famous and made him a lot of money. I guess. So. But he did have a kazoot, boys. Yeah, I'm telling kazoot. you, a kazoot. Oh, yeah. You know, Jay, I, okay. Hey, uh, Jay's got one of them hats too. That old Jimmy Durandy would wear. Jimmy Durandy hat. He wears it to all formal events. Yeah. That's right, all formal See if you can find him in that Along hat. with his Chase uh, and the cute hat he has. Along with his V-neck. I call it, I call it a gangster hat. Daddy had one when he was a young Jace man. Jace ain't no gangster. Jace ain't a gangster. He a lot of things. He ain't no gangster. Oh, yeah. I've got to yeah, miss his Instagram to anyway, see if I can find he's it. He's got a little bit of gangster in him. Nah. Chuck me. Jace? Yeah. Uh, the worst one I ever got, we was cutting down a tree. And that thing fell, unbeknownst to us, on a yellow jacket nest in the mm. ground. Oh, mm. yeah. Let me tell you how long it took them to sniff out that chainsaw running. Not long. But hey. And by that time, he's like, man, that burns. What is that? About that time, oh, he's still burning. Uh, okay. A problem. We I don't know have what the, a problem. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. You got the yellow jackets that have nest. They nest on trees like purple tail. There's the hat. Or you have another type yellow jacket that live in the ground. Uh, These ones, the ground one. Oh, no, no. The ground ones are way more painful oh, they're worse. than the other ones. Yeah. Mean. Because well, when they pop you, whoa. Don't nothing make me any happier than waiting until nighttime and going and filling that hole full of gasoline and then dropping a match and listening to yeah. them pop like oh, popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm oh, like, no. you little rascals, that's what you get. I was down there doing something on Phil's land with the backhoe. <laughs> so I'm swinging it, drop the dirt, coming back. And all of a sudden, it's like this. Getting and, out this. Uh, and then this, you know, hey, track of, I mean, the backhoe's still running. <laughs> he gone. Has, he gone. Hey, this boy has left the area. <laughs> Okay. Yo, Phil come out and said, yo, he said, what's the back of your self sitting on our island for? And I said, because, hey, I got in one of them ground yellow jacket nest, which was about big as a basketball. And I said, so abort I left the area. Yeah, that's time to abort. I said, it'll run out of diesel here sooner or later. <laughs> he left the area. Yeah. It'll run out of diesel or it'll be dark. One of the two. <laughs> I ain't messing with it. No, I ain't no. messing with it while it's well, still well, light. Look, look, Si, there's a picture of Jace in his gang- gangster hat. What do you think? That doesn't look very you, gangster. Huh. He would make a book good band member. Yeah, Jace what, 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 what he, the Blues Brothers? Yeah, the Blues Brothers. Yeah, he kind of no. got that. Maybe blues if he played the bass. Yeah. Well, he's been known to sing the blues. Right. So, I mean, he is a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. <laughs> oh, we're going down the Jace. People ask why we've never had Jace on this podcast because we like to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> like, if he's going to call us the kids podcast, hey, we'll pull off the gloves right. and go after well, him. Hey, I appreciate it. What's that? Being the kids podcast. We, we yeah. know you appreciate hey. it. Let them old geezers down there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> si calls you an old geezer. There's a problem. Oh, yeah. Take that, Jace. Si from called the, his from the you know who, the kid. <laughs> I see an Instagram post. All right, let's All take right, our first uh, break. We'll be right, back. We're going right to take a break this. and be right back. So, Si, in the state of our economy right now, how much faith do you have in the U.S. dollar? Unfortunately, not much. Why don't you grab that mic, move it a little bit closer to you? Right, well, make hey, unfortunately, not much to the to answer your question. Okay. But what what about what you're holding right there? Well, now that's here's, worth something. Uh, hey, here's the deal. Okay. Yo, know, our currency is supposed to be backed by this, the silver and gold. Silver and gold. But I don't I don't know if that's actually the truth of the matter. So, if it's not backed by it, you might as well get you some of it, right? That's it, boys. Look, product shortages and delays are everywhere, and inflation is getting out of control. We think it's time that everybody considers buying some gold and silver. That way, you got something you can put your hands on. It's been used for 
money as for thousands a year. I mean, all the way back to the Bible. You can see people trading gold, trading silver, all kinds of things. And it's, you know, way better than cheap paper that's being printed every day. So gold and silver are always valuable and protect your hard-earned money from inflation. You can even use your IRA to invest in gold and silver. The one place we trust to buy our gold and silver from is SD Bullion. Founded by two Christians, SD Bullion offers some of the lowest prices on gold and silver. They've assisted over 200,000 customers with more than $2 bi- billion, that's with a B, billion dollars in transactions. And SD Bullion has earned an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating since 2012. In an industry full of size favorites, snake oil salesmen, how mm. does it do on stains? It's honestly refreshing to work with a company built on faith-based <laughs> values with low transparent pricing. If you want to learn more about protecting your assets with gold and silver, contact our friends at SD Bullion. They have a special discount for duck call room listeners just text the word duck d-u-c-k to 465-322 to get a free guide to buying gold and silver and five dollars off your first order that's text the word duck d-u-c-k to 465-322 once again duck to 465-322 but speaking of other wardrobes uh somebody sent me this on instagram oh lord site did Back in the day, now, why did you often sing Garth Brooks in a straight jacket? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Well, I didn't know about the straight jacket. I, no, no, because that's how we ended the show. We did a Prince tribute. Well, Prince don't oh. sing Friends in a lot of places. No, no, look, look. That's what. That's how I ended up in the straight jacket. They, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Prince? Is that not one of the worst things you've ever heard? Oh. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> but you'll never hear me come blind. I mean, hey. that's terrible. Once again. Well, hey, that's the Sorry. song. Go ahead. Once yeah. again, whoever talked you into that ought to be a horse whip. <laughs> yeah. Now, that one, I bet you will. <laughs> I bet you will on that one. <laughs> he, he had no choice. He was so, in okay, a straight time, jacket. Time out. That's it. like when I got them inserts in the other day. I thought, boy, that whoever done that didn't even look at the finished product. No, they're that's doing a, it blindfolded. That's the same way. Oh, that that is that. so. Time, time out. Whoever did that, didn't we got even off look track at. here. Size on TikTok <laughs> and a straight do, jacket. How do because, we go from a Prince tribute to singing Friends in Low Place? Here's the thing. They made me mad. So look, <laughs> who okay. made you mad? You know, Who's Bridget, they? Bridget and Marshall when they sang the tribute to Prince. <clears throat> okay, and I said y'all sung it wrong. Okay, <laughs> so anyway, no, no, look, look, hey, you know, because I said, hey, you gotta understand. I said I'm an artist, and I said I've got my own song. Yeah. Okay, I sing it different than Prince does. I make it mine. But so, was so it anyway, Prince's song? So but, I just tell the folks all, you know, I just. What'd hey, you say? I, you're an artist. Yeah. <laughs> I said, hey, I tell the folks, right? I said, yeah, good night. I, I appreciate all of y'all coming, uh, and I'm out of here because the girls have done ticked me off, and I'm gone. He gone. So I leave the stage. <clears throat> so you know, and I'm gone like five minutes. So Bridget finally turns to Marsha and says, "Hey, go get that old crazy man and bring him back out of here." <clears throat> and Bridget, you know, and Marsha says, "I don't think he's gonna come back." She says, "What take? Do whatever it takes to get him back out of here." So that's the reason she comes out. Usually a cop pull me, bring me out back out. And, Tell me, yeah, we caught him down way down the street there. He was trying to thumb him get away. Oh, so I thought you were telling an actual story. No, no so you're you, telling the act of how you yeah, got to. Y'all got a y'all got a bit like yeah. WWE. <laughs> oh yeah. come on, man! Uh, yeah, I, I thought, thought you were telling show, a story. Look, our show was like back way back in the Western days when the circus come to town. Okay, well, circus. Right. Anything goes. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love yeah, but if you watch, the Yankees thing, no, but if you watch that forever. movie about the circus, the greatest showman, they could sing. So what's your excuse? Hey, I can sing too. Not He's right a, there. Hey, I made about three hundred thousand dollars the first two years, so, so hey. <laughs> Well, well, Matt, you, you how might, about that? Yeah, can right? I say yeah but you spent a cool million. No. <laughs> yeah, how about to say, can I, can I, I please examine? No, I didn't have a cool I ain't with you. I ain't got uh, a cool million. You, you can I to. please examine your profit and loss statement from said 300? <laughs> That's all I want. Uh, is 300 gross or net? That's all I'm asking. Uh, uh, what just it's happened? Probably gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably gross. Yeah, That's that, all right. He had a good time. Uh, hey, you enjoyed guy. it. That's hey, all that matters. Hey, we like hey, to give you a hard time. Well, I, I know it, and I love it. But well, what, hey, I, I just gave a free show for about 45 minutes in the airport. 
It, that, is. that is true. We did got you video see that had a blast doing it? But, he's, he's, what Prince song did y'all say? Oh, oh, that's a good question. When doves cry. <laughs> when the doves cry. <laughs> Can you give us a little? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are already on me. I just want to taste. Both, all three of you are on me with both feet. I said no, I ain't giving you a print. I just I received a video <laughs> oh, of a grown man in a straight jacket singing uh, Garth Brooks on stage that was apparently a part of a Prince tribute, so I just got a lot of questions. Well, I don't want to be your weekend lover. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Go on, then. <laughs> now, see, that one, you was actually on key. That's all right. That, was, that was not bad. That was good. <laughs> you practiced that, didn't you? But it sounded like you was out of breath in friends in low well, places. I ain't going to lie now. <laughs> well, look, hey. I, that probably, well, you had a straight jacket on. No, there you well, go. That, yeah. You ought to try to... Yo, you ought to try to sing in a straight jacket. I can't sing without that, it. Hey, look, that they pull very tight. <laughs> it didn't look tight. You okay. need a different band, oh. mate. They sounded mean. You, you was being bullied. No, we had a, we had a blast. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lord have Look, mercy. one night uh, after, yo, know, we ended it, I just said, well, I'm wore out. And I just laid down on the stage. They killed all the lights, and for 25 to 30 minutes, there was flash bulbs going y'all for 30 minutes they thought that was your encore i i, I don't know what they may have thought i died <laughs> i don't know well, it's nice of them to look, come check come, on you look, cause, no 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 because bridget and marshall went to the merc's table okay to sell whatever we're selling you know and everybody was asking well, where's uncle Sia? and bridget said i guess that is the back on, still on stage taking a nap yeah. oh man you took a nap on stage yeah why hey, not i'm a working man <laughs> Work hard. I work hard and have work hard. There you go. That man sold a lot of t-shirts with that on it, son. Oh, yeah. Work hard, nap hard. That's right. He did. Nap hard. That hey, little button I have says that. Speaking of t-shirts, I'm fixing to sell a bunch of Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Well, I just had to give myself a plug here, boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, go to duckcommander.com t-shirts. <laughs> and get a duck call room approved t-shirt. You can oh, find yeah. them with I, I Believe got, Black hey, Panthers. I got them too. Hey, duck call room he's t-shirt. a t-shirt man. That's what he does <laughs> for a living. You sell t-shirts. Hey, I'm multi-talented, boy. We're going to have to get you your own merch table whenever you go <laughs> do these boy, appearances it, now. Boy, hey, I'm, You're going to be looking like Luke Bryan. This artist, this artist is multi-talented, boys. <laughs> he's a screen printer. He's a <laughs> famous singer. Uh, he tells stories. Yeah. Sometimes he steals other people's stories. You got two of them, right? What? Huh? You don't steal. Oh, he's an steal. artist, remember? He's an artist. Hey, he's an artist. artist. Do Tributes. Not, artists do not steal nothing, boys. They come up with it on their own. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So even, no, we ain't going to out you on that. <laughs> we ain't going to out you. We ain't going to out you about that coon dog story that yeah. you took as your own, but we ain't going to out you on that one. But that'll be all right. Oh, boys, it. Hey. Uh, Hey, coon dog story. Our fans outed you, but you we ain't. Is that a coon dog or a corn dog? Coon uh, dog. No, the, you know the one, the coon dog with the flashlight up in the tree. Up oh, in the tree, yeah. Oh, yeah. now hey, look. <laughs> That's Jerry Claire's boy. See, yeah, hey, there, there it is. Okay. You finally gave look. him credit. Well, no, no. Hey, I didn't say it was mine. But you sure told it like it was. <laughs> well, hey. He owned it. He, you hey, did own it. Well, hey, that's, see, that's what an artist does. An <laughs> artist takes this and owns it. Just when he's making little. his own, it belongs to him, boys. Mm. Yeah, it's hey, not that's plagiarism when you, that's at all. When you know you've made it to being an artist. Well, look. Hey, everybody man. needs to keep the legend of Jerry Clyer alive anyway. Oh, hey, look, right. I, I, I'm that's good right. with it. I was one of the greatest comedian storytellers there was. Boys. Yeah. Now, you know a man's got talent when he can tell a Jerry Clyer story is, better than Jerry Clyer. That's, right. that's yeah. true. That's right. So, oh, ain't no right. doubt about yeah. it. Put that in your pipe and smoke that's it. That's right, boys. Yeah. Well, let's take a break. We'll see if Sai can come up with an original story. Right I got to go this. call Willie. He's Do that. stranded in Alaska. Uh -oh. oh, he's stranded in Alaska. Si, I got you another present here. What's that? A brand new groove belt. Ooh. Hey, don't mess with the boy's groove, boy. <laughs> don't mess <laughs> with the I'm groove. I'm like B.B. King. Don't fool with the groove, boy. The emperor's got a new groove. Ain't That's that right? That's there it, you boy. go. Si right. watches children's movies. Look, we've worked with Groove Life for quite a while now. Um, they are the ones that make our silicone wedding bands that, that most of us wear. Um, si, he's off that bag. But, nope. You know, that's si fine. is too many, off uh, too many jam knuckle joints. Yeah. Well, that's what they got that's Groove Life silicone. for. Yeah. <laughs> silicone will stretch around them. But Literally that's what we made it for. <laughs> Look, 
are they you, made it for? You can't be a ladies man with a wedding ring. Everybody knows that. No, I'm kidding. I'm just messing with Cy. But look, no, they are great. They're great folks over at Groove Life, and now they've got a the best belt I've ever worn too. So. It's like a belt that's it's not silicone, but it's got a little stretch to it. Well, it you don't, don't even know you got it on. That's exactly right. It don't paint you. It don't do nothing. Don't dig into your side, and you can use it as a carry belt if you'd like to do that. The thing is super comfortable, and it's just as comfortable as the ring. So that's, you know, I mean, if comfort is your thing like it's so much for us. Look at me. Groove got you covered. Yeah, I mean. Johnny, Win-win situation, boys. If athletic shorts had belt loops, he'd have it on I'd right wear, now. I so. would, because I'm <laughs> yeah. losing all this weight. I need a belt for my shorts. Right, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it does have the perfect amount of stretch to give you the most comfortable all-day fit ever. The buckle uses high strength. Neodymium magnets for an easy, seamless snap-on, snap-off that includes what they call stiff tech. That means there's no folding of your belt That's loops. That's just it keeps science. A, I guarantee you. So when you have that little spare tire like Johnny D's trying to get rid of, it doesn't fold your loops or your belt over. Yeah, quit telling my secrets. Hey, I'm just trying to help you out. It's not so, a secret. Trust me, you'll love the toughest, most comfortable belt known to man and the most comfortable ring for guys and girls who play in the dirt. And with the Groove Life lifetime warranty, there's absolutely no risk. Right now... Get 15% off your Groove Life order at DuckLovesGroove.com with promo code DuckLovesGroove. Go to DuckLovesGroove.com and use promo code DuckLovesGroove. That's all one word, DuckLovesGroove, for 15% off your Groove Life order. One last time, DuckLovesGroove.com, promo code DuckLovesGroove. Are we back? We back, baby. We're back, We're back Jack. Where are we going? Fleetwood Mac would say. What? I got something. Back. I got something. I got to do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Hi. Oh. Is the it's? Are we currently still I was, filming? I was protecting my neck. Oh. oh. Hey. Oh, he, he's, to, <laughs> he's gonna get that bail. Oh. Hey, he's trying to take my bail. Boy. Notice, notice. First thing I do is protecting my neck. I know Stone <laughs> like to show us some chokes, man. I <laughs> was protecting my hey, abs because he's been making me do them lately. Hey. I ain't got much of a neck, but I sure was. I sure was trying yeah. to save I, it. I'm glad you did that. Though. <laughs> my ears need to break. <laughs> From I that bail. Uh, I, Stone was walking killer. towards me. I thought he was about to make me do some more planks again. No, well, yeah. I, I'm glad you said that. Oh, no. <laughs> because we'll give a little update on Johnny D's House okay, workout. progress. Yeah, workout. As of today, he has lost, I think, what, seven pounds? Is it six or seven? Uh, depends on where we're going from, but... Six. I always start at six, the highest number. Six since we started working out. Yeah. Sixteen. There you go. Since oh, yeah. I caught the okay. disease. Well, well, look at work. you. The since disease we've been helped. working out, he's lost six pounds. Good work. I will say, in his lung capacity has increased somewhat. <laughs> Stone will shoot you straight. Is what I've learned. <laughs> now, what what we're focusing on, he is he is uh, you know, he's not weak. And his, his, he has strength in his arms and his legs, but his well, his core is very weak. Gotta, so that's where we're focusing. Weak Get, core, <laughs> <son>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get on that flank, oh, mate. Yeah. He's been yeah. teaching yeah. Mine, you to punch people. Mine's so. way tighter, JD. Yeah. Oh, no, uh, yeah. So we, we, we've been go, uh, son. we we've been working hard. You know, he's okay. he's been finishing all of his workouts, and uh, he's been showing up when I call him. So. We got one this afternoon. So he ain't a bad student. He's a good student. He, okay. He, I'm coachable. He learns well. I'm proud of you, J.D. And he has been disciplined with his intake. Of okay. Well, that lunch today was foods. pretty weak. I'm still oh, yeah. hungry. So, um, You're the only man I know that's been to Arby's and got a bowl or something. <laughs> Arby, uh, no, Arby's serves their food. Uh, if you say no bun, they go, in a bowl? Is that what you mean? I'm like, sure. So you can just go get. Well, they got to do something with some all them meat. salad bowls they order because ain't nobody yeah. going ain't to nobody Arby's for a salad. salad. I, did, that that I did see a side salad instead of French fries. I was like, no, just give me just a few pieces of meat and I'm gonna and then go. some cheese and let's roll. I Man, messed up on done. my oatmeal this morning. Uh oh. Uh oh. So you're on yeah. the oatmeal. Yeah, he's on the. Oatmeal. After I do my workout, I have a bowl of oatmeal, but yeah. I messed up. I was hungry, so I said, "Well, what I'll do is I'll double. I'll open two packs." <laughs> Wrong. I I know how to cook the one pack perfectly. When I double up, not messed up. Yeah. I won't ever pull that again. Well, so next pack. time you'll just make two oh, single bowls. No, well I'll fix that. If I do it, I'm gonna do it like you come out. I'll yeah. just make me another bowl of it. Yeah. You, you put two in there, nope, ain't the same deal. But now John, Johnny D is doing much better 
than I would have guessed when we started. Well, so I'm still, I'm surprised he's, he's still going. Oh, he's still coming. Oh, I like he's still, it. Well, he enjoys I, it. Well, it's a fun way to stay in well, shape. Boxing. You know? that, well, yeah. I'm actually just training for next time you grab my flank meat. I'm just going to give you the old one-two. Well, you better watch out because he's about to grab it. <laughs> okay. He's looking at you. <laughs> he looking I'm at not you. to the point. I, I hope you try that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll be waiting on that because I'm going to give you one, two, three. Oh. No, he going he gonna to give you a four or five. I don't know five yet. I'm only to four. Hey, we I'm going to do you just like got to Faze uppercase. does her partners in that jujitsu. I don't do jujitsu. I box. I know, but I, hey, well, see, I do. Just whatever hits me at the moment. <laughs> it generally okay. starts with a pistol. <laughs> yeah, size has got weaponry involved. Right, yeah, he's too old. Yeah, I don't blame him. Oh, I may have put a knife on you. Oh. Well, <laughs> you notice I didn't say a knife. It's a a cut knife. knife. Yeah. That means it cuts. That's right. That's right. Hey, very sharp. But, but I have not been taking it easy on him. I've been... I, oh, I wouldn't say overly oh, tough. Oh, he went in Mr. No. Leaf no. mode, boy. So he, I would, he only hit me once. Mode. I've only hit him a couple times, and it was a <laughs> light tap. And then Love taps, boys. What I do is when we do our cardio session, well, I bring him right to the edge of death. <laughs> And just to see. And bring him back. And then bring him back. And then I, I, he drinks his water and goes to the I, house. I can't wait to talk to Mr. Lee again. I said, not only did you, you didn't break him. You made him worse, Mr. Lee. So now he's a replica of you. That's it. Oh. <laughs> I'll the tell you something about me. I brought him yeah. right up to the line of death, boys, and then back, left, backed him off a little bit. <laughs> That's what Stone does. Because then right at the end, so you're punching Stone's gloves, and then right at the end, he just starts moving everything further and further away. So you got to reach farther, oh, reach. and then you end up about falling down. Yeah. But, hey, we're making it. And then he oh, – the, hey, what's fun? Have you done the sledgehammer thing? The yeah, mace? Yeah. He got a big old 15-pound sledgehammer that we just throw at stuff. That's fun. That's way funner than going to the gym and sitting on a treadmill. Oh, yeah. Next if people time. learn the way you of You need Stone, to go to the bar of my friends, okay, from Mississippi. The bar? And throw, yeah, and throw hatchets. We're trying to lose. I guess okay. that could be something. I've, I've never had that advice. You need to go to a bar Oh, no, no. And no, throw no. Hey, it's, great, it's a great family. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Great family sport. It really is. The kids get into it. Mom and dad get into go it. Go to the bar. We have that hatchets. at Camp Shioka, oh. the Christian you? youth camp. Do you? Yeah. The, if you want that way we don't have to go to the bar together. Well, hey, look, it's a family place, okay? Uh, I don't think it's a bar. Right? It's like a chili. Well, yeah. It's a bar yeah. and grill. Yeah, yeah. it's a hatchet throw kind of place. I, no, it's all it is. I don't it's understand. A place for families. I'm going to say this real quick. Why are people allowed to drink and throw hatchets? I don't think it's a bar. I think he misspoke. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a family place. Okay, it's a family place. I like it. I'll go throw hatchets. I'm good at throwing stuff. But now, uh, speaking of fitness, this is an interesting text I got. So I got a text from a guy named um, Rich Froning. Have you anybody? Have you ever heard of him? Mm -hmm. I've heard. I've the heard name. the. Yeah, he's a pit boss partner. I keep he, getting just like that. Si. Rich Froning is the fittest man on the planet. That's his title, except for Sai. <laughs> hey, does he tape his weights together? <laughs> Have I, I, I met him? I don't know. No, that, you ain't never met him. Why is that so anyway, good? Christian, Sadie's husband, he, he uh, gave him my number because he wants to wants me to take him on a duck hunt, Martin. Oh, oh, get him oh, over here. pretty so, pretty legs. What's he gonna do? Choke him out? Run no, him not, down? Not Christian. Uh, <laughs> rich. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He just gonna grab one of them, or he gonna shoot? Him? I, I imagine he could do whatever he wants to do with them, but he's he's quite the specimen. Oh yeah, no, he's a good dude. He was. We've done some stuff together with uh, Pit Boss and all that. Rich so, Froning is yeah. he going to join he us loves, in the House of Pain? He loves smoked uh, meat. No, I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> well, if you don't <laughs> trust me, if you bring me along, there will only be one person embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, you can always say, "Look at my student here. Look what I got to work with." Yeah, uh, this, this is what I'm yeah. training. Uh, yeah, he's CrossFit man. Oh yeah, yeah CrossFit he's champion, CrossFit all that stuff. King. Yeah. But anyway, he man sent me a text, and it, so I'm thinking about. You know, getting him involved in Johnny D's. Oh no! Uh oh, you. Johnny D's. Uh, Johnny D. I've seen that man walk on his hands. I can't even. No, I can't even walk on my feet, Martin. Yeah, them oh, thirty yeah. second planks was rough enough in my office yesterday. <laughs> oh my goodness! 
I wonder, do our listeners do planks? No. They're the worst Are people. Are you kidding? You just sit there and act like you're going to do a push up and <laughs> it hurts everywhere. And Stone yells at you when you move. He's like, uh, get your butt down. And I don't yell. He doesn't yell. I, I tried yell. to get him on them belly on the floor, down. pick your arms, pick your legs up, see how long you can go. But no. he ain't tear you But up. you he, just he, sit there and you just burn until your arms start shaking. Burn, boy. We're, 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 we're progressing into push-ups is what we're doing. <laughs> we're not we're, there we're yet. start there. There's too much weight and not a lot of upper so body So can you strength. not do ad push-ups? I could probably do one right now. The first time Stone told me to do push-ups, I, I was very sore. There's a lot of room down there. Uh, I'll do a push-up during the break. They I, can. If we can stop the recording. No. no hey, this it, accountability, well, this son. Is, this is, you know, you don't be ashamed. I mean, oh, I was you weak. should be ashamed. But. Si, can you, <laughs> si, can you do a push-up? No, I can do a push-up. Hey, right, here we go. Here one push-up. Yeah, I know. Uh, I don't mm. know if that was a push up or not. Mm. That was totally a push up. You have to. He done it so quick. That that is, trick, if you were the in the military doing a PT test, that would not count. I've already said I would not make it in the military. <laughs> so you got to go two. Nobody's claiming that. Two parallel and then back up. I, we worked out yesterday and my arms are really sore. I know we worked out two days ago. Two yeah, days my arms ago. are really sore. My arms yeah. are still. Well, you're hurting. doing good, though. I went swimming yeah. yesterday. Hey, I tell you Michael this: Phelps style. a week and a half ago, you couldn't have done that. So whether it I counts was really as a technical sore. push up or not, yeah. you you on the right track. Oh, That's he's doing good. good. Now my arms for about a week, I was like, my kids be like, play with me. I'm like, okay, hold on, just give me a second. I was doing push ups the other day. First ten, no problem. Second ten, I was like, I felt them. Third ten was like one. ten sets of one. Hey, I mean, I'd do one, and I was like, "Okay, yeah, buddy, them arms are." Uh, here's the best okay, part of working let's out. Take a breath, then do another. One. When you work out with Stone, it goes like this: All right, you do ten of these. I'm gonna do a hundred. I'm gonna do fifty. <laughs> no, it's literally a hundred. <laughs> you know? hey. And so I'm done. I'm like gasping, and then Stone's. You need to. You need to build a ladder. A what? A ladder. A ladder. A ladder. Yeah, like we've done in the military. Huh? You talking Cause, about? Uh, yeah, because that like no. a rope ladder? No, monkey, monkey not bars. a rope ladder. Monkey bar. Pipe, pipe, pipe ladder. And it's about uh, tw- twenty-four rungs, probably. All the way across. I ain't, uh, I ain't got yeah. nowhere to put that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know, but that's what we had in basic. Oh, I know. You and can put it between your and house I, and the in-laws. That no, no, <laughs> look, go that's from house the to best. House. That's the best shape I've ever been in my life. Doing monkey bars? It, it's just. Doing hanging from a ladder. Oh, I'm telling you right we, now. We, hey, before we your get grip eat, gets strong. Oh no, 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 not on that. Hey, before you you eat, you do 24. You go in. Yeah. Before you yeah. eat. Yeah, that's every meal. Right you never want to eat. Before yeah. you eat, you get 24. <laughs> that's a look. Stone makes me work out like right before dinner hey, time too, and yeah. I go home and she's like, "What do you want to eat?" I'm like, I'm "Graduation, good. graduation." That's why I, do it. I eat about three look, bites, and I'm like, "I'm too." Graduation hot day for basic training. My drill instructor dropped me. Okay, and dress greens, no less. Okay. Oh, I'm aware. Big oh, oaf. Oh, no, yeah. Big when he oaf. first told me, I said, uh, I beg your pardon, I'm in dress greens. He said, You can beg all you want to, make it, but you better get out. <laughs> okay, so look. When they called hey. you a maggot, they meant it too. Oh, no. Oh, well, hey, yeah. look. Uh, big old big old minute anyway. But anyway, <laughs> you know, he said, Drop, give me 25 the first time. Then I, he got back in my face. I bust out life again. Then he made it 50. I did 350. Well, he finally wiped the smile off my face, and I couldn't laugh no more. That's because you, you did 350 push-ups? I did 350 push-ups. I would not have made it. Well, Johnny D, we're, we're on a schedule here, oh, so my. I got you in a month and a half. We're going to the <laughs> two minute planks. to the jiu-jitsu school, Uh-oh, and, no. and we're going to do a little. Yeah, you're going to that. Little rolling. He but found I, you. See, he so found I, I got to get in shape before I, he hurts you, me. Hey, look, no, no, no. I'm no. not. I'm Young not going to lay a hand on you. You just thought you were sore before, Johnny D. I'm not going to lay a hand okay. on you. I have your opponent. <laughs> oh, we have an opponent. She's 13 years old. Oh, boy. <laughs> and she's fixed to brutalize her, you, her, son. And her nickname is the Destroyer. <laughs> a 13 year old girl? Can I? I'm not fine. I want to give you oh, yeah. something to practice outside of yeah. your workout with Stone. Tapping out? Yeah, this. No, I'm not. Yeah, you need I'm to learn this. how to tap. This. The destroyer. You need to learn that. Well, you can either tap I'm not or... you fighting a 13 year old girl. You're not fighting. No, you oh, won't be. No, you, you won't, won't be. be. No, you won't be. You won't be. <laughs> You'll just be. You won't be. <laughs> she going to climb you like a cat squirrel. That's why I'm saying you better do like this. Learn this right here. Yeah. Tap out. You, you need to show him some. 
You need to show him some of Sage's moves that she puts on oh, them boys. You either tap out or you go to sleep. It's up to you. I recommend. I'm, a, I'm gonna get tapping out. I recommend a tap. You're fixing to get a good education, JD. That head. It'll be fun. I It'll want him fun. to do it. No, <laughs> no, 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 I ain't no, going no. in no jujitsu class. Trust me. No, Sai's got the ultimate defense already. They can't get around that hump on his back. So they ain't gonna get his back. <laughs> you know, they get back there. They like they can't reach his neck. Hey, I may try that because they make a straighten it, straighten it out. Yeah. There you go. No. That's years. I know yeah. that they popped a rib out of, out of my back. I know that. And then just, hey. I'd the rather just attend said, hey, the house of pain. Just hold it. Hold it. And that thing deep breath. Bang, I'll pop it back in. Yeah. There we go. Well, let's take a break. We'll be back <laughs> we right after one. this. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody knows the folks in Louisiana have been dealing with the after effects of Hurricane Ida. Y'all are about to go see it firsthand down in Venice this yep. weekend. And uh, you'll... You, you know, just have a pretty good understanding of what it is. But, you know, one of the first groups on the scene after Hurricane Ida were our friends over at Samaritan's Purse. Um, it seems like they're always one of the first on well, the no, scene. Well, no, no, you know? they are. Samaritan's Purse are a, a first-class first responder to emergencies that the human race of all kinds, okay, all kinds of emergencies. That's exactly arrive, right. And they are the first one that show up. The people involved are first class, and so is the Samaritan Purse outfit, all of them. Absolutely. Okay. And they're not just there to repair homes and damaged property. They they actually work to help repair some people's souls, their lives. With that they're busy that. sharing the gospel the whole time that they're they're working through a disaster area. You know, they they um this summer they went out to the California Dixie Fire. The one that scorched like a million acres out there. I mean, just think about that, a million acres. That, a million. That's a big piece of land. Um, destroyed more than 1,300 homes and structures, and Samaritan's Purse was right there. So for us, they're not just a Louisiana-based thing. We, we just know about them because for the last few years, we've dealt with our fair share of natural disasters, and they're always on the scene. So, you know, it's pretty cool when you can have a company that does do that and Share the message of Jesus the whole time they're doing it. So Samaritan's Purse is a Christian international relief organization that helps hurting people around the world in their time of crisis. And they do it all in the name of Jesus Christ. For over 50 years, Samaritan's Purse has been helping victims of poverty, war, famine, persecution, and natural disasters here in the U.S. and around the world. They show the love of Christ while sharing the gospel and being the hands and feet of Jesus. And here is what we need you to do. Go to SamaritansPurse.org slash duck to find out how you can get involved with this ministry. They are great testimonies of what God is doing and opportunities to get involved right there on the site. Again, that's SamaritansPurse.org slash duck to learn more or just click the link here in the show notes. Well, I had a first last night. First ever. I got choked out by a woman what'd Man, you do to Anna? <laughs> that, it wasn't my wife oh uh-oh. i was training <laughs> i was training at uh at, at the jiu-jitsu school and i had to roll with the one of the females there who was more advanced way more advanced than me oh, anyway way. she got my yeah. back and she locked in a choke oh. and i thought i'm not gonna tap to a woman then i thought yeah I right before i passed out <laughs> yeah, i thought I yeah i'm tapping to a yeah, woman i will so. She got you. Oh, did she get me? Rear <laughs> naked choke. Yes, sir. Oh, well, she. I kept. I kept busting those grips, but she was. She was switching them on me. You know, yeah. shum, 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 shum. shifty. Next thing I know, she was under the chin, and it was over. Uh huh. So. Okay. But There's what you got to look forward ever, to to the destroyer, think, Johnny. I said, D. Johnny D. Don't ever think just because you're a man, a woman can't choke the life out of you. I never thought that. You run into the right one. Oh yeah. Oh, no, no. I've always said I would like rather yard, fight dog. 10 men than one woman that is mad. Because <laughs> she'll accidentally kill well, you. This woman wasn't even mad. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If they're mad, they'll kill you and be sorry later. Okay? Yeah. So, no. Huh. I'm so confused. What are you looking for, Johnny D? I'm ch- Willie's stuck in Alaska. I was trying to see if I could get him, but we'll do it afterwards. <laughs> He's stuck there. He's stuck. He's in too Alaska. good of a hunter. Hey, huh. he took twenty seconds to kill his two caribou, and now he's stuck now for he's ten stuck days. Now he's stuck. Well, I'll see if I can get him well, back. There you go. Off. Hey, I don't like going to the middle of nowhere though, so I don't run into that problem. Mm. Oh, I could go there. 
Alaska? Oh, I'd like, to, I'd like to go there because yeah. it's so pretty up there. Have you been to Alaska, Sal? Yes, I went to uh, Franklin Graham's Island. What? For, uh, Samaritan Purse uh, when the uh, troops <laughs> coming back in. In Alaska? Yep, they give them a week, uh, the veteran and their wives. This, this is true. Yes, Samaritan is, Lodge, which, Alaska. I, I bawled like a baby when the plane landed. Couldn't Did you? It. Yeah, couldn't help it. Oh, that's he's, pretty he's, cool, though. Well, no, no, because the guys, you know, I didn't think about it. You know, most of them, okay, had got shot up, and they went from the battlefield to Ramstein Air Force Base in Germany and stayed in the hospital to recover from all their wounds. Well, when they come in, a plane load of them come in, and when they come off, <clears throat> they was, you know, shocked that the whole family was there of Duck Dynasty, you know. And when they come, you know, meeting each other, broke down. That's pretty awesome. What year was that? A few years ago? Yeah, I was, what, right in the middle, I guess right in the middle of our, our highlight on Duck Dynasty. Samaritan. Yeah, Franklin. The American Purse was one that was uh, uh, connected with, with Franklin. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. It was. But it What'd was. What'd y'all do? It was actually cool. Yeah, look. We okay. went up there. Is this where you went? Oh, check yeah. it out. Yeah. We went up there when the plane landed, okay, there's a bunch of us, okay, all holding the American flags, welcoming them home. And when you met the individual soldiers, okay, and all I could blur that was welcome home, man. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Yeah, that's what, did y'all, did y'all go fishing and, like, messing no. around or just hang, no, hang we, out? No, uh, we went actually and watched the bears catching salmon, you know, grizzlies catching salmon, which was cool. Actually, on one of them puddle hoppers. Oh, yeah. You know, so, a little float plane? Oh, yeah. So, look, we come in. There's already seven planes on this thing. And I'm serious when I say this. It was probably, maybe, probably, what, five times as big as the podcast room? Okay, because they'd land and go down at one end of it and, you know, go to the bank. Everybody's, everybody's wearing waders. Because it's ice cold water. Ice cold, I'm talking about. Mm. You know, so we all would, you know, and just that. It, 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 uh, amazing that they can shut down that quick and then take off that fast. Mm. Yeah. Speaking of ice cold, si, we yeah. got a cold front coming through tonight. Ooh. And you know where we headed in the morning. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we, we we gonna, headed down. Hey, all the blue winged teal are going to Mexico. Okay, right. or to the coast yep. for vacation. Yeah, guess what? We take men old stone taking vacation too, and we're gonna get down there and get us some of them. Yep. Well, look, and you look. can <laughs> check out all the action on the Duck Commander YouTube page. <laughs> Just yeah, slide on over there. And, that's it. If we ever hire another person, yeah, um, <laughs> that's neither here nor there though. <laughs> no. We drove our one so crazy he had to go be a youth oh, minister. Yeah. So. I don't blame him. Two years yeah. in the hole is all he could stand. But that's that about did. it. So if you're a videographer, all. call Martin here at Doug Commander. <laughs> no, start with John David. You'll get to me eventually. Um, I don't. That's not my department. <laughs> that might be your last stop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, we we fix to go down there and have us a ball. Uh, which reminds yeah, me, let me give y'all some money. Bring me back some of them stuffed chickens from that Bell Chase oh, meat yeah. market if oh, it's still oh. standing. I don't know what I'd have left down there. I think it's still there. Is it? Those yeah. stuffed chickens are you fine. Stuffed chicken, boy. Johnny D, what about that stuffed chicken with that sausage dressing? Uh-oh. Boy, that'd be good, wouldn't it? I'm not allowed to eat it. You can all only that. find something like that in South Louisiana. Man. They take all the bones out of the chicken, yep. and then they replace the bones with deliciousness. Well, let me restate that. You can find it somewhere else, There's not but it food. ain't going to be good. I like the jalapeno uh, cornbread stuffed chicken. I like the jalapeno, jalapeno mashed potato stuffed good. chicken. That I like the jambalaya good. stuffed chicken. Yep. I, all them, I, all them, but look, you can scrape out the carbs and not eat it. And just eat the chicken. Dance? Nah, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't do that. He said, nah, <laughs> you ain't going to do that. That's called self-discipline to know. <laughs> you can't even get that in front of me. Right. Otherwise, I'm going to eat a whole chicken yeah. and a whole side. The well, first time I, I landed on them things, I did eat a whole chicken. I ate the whole thing. All of it. Oh, this show good. was good, too. I said, Lord, have mercy. Mm. That's when I knew I had to triple my order. I I've ordered like, a lot of food from there. Yeah, I was like, no, nah, this ain't enough. Boys. There's not a lot better than 2021 and having an ice chest full of stuff just show up at your front door. Amen. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. But here's here's the menu, so I'm, bring, I'm bringing the smoker. All right. And I'm going to do spare ribs one night. Okay. I'm going to do fat burgers another uh-huh. night. Oh, mm. burgers. And, and I brought my Dutch oven, so I'm doing a big chuck roast Uh-oh. in the Dutch oven. Hey. I'm hungry. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, that chuck roast 
That's all he keto had, friendly. You can no, make it. Look, I'm he not had three keto. of them. I don't think. I don't know what I'm look, doing. Look, he cooked three of them in about this big around, you know, squares. And I'm I'm telling you the truth, I could have ate all three of them myself. Why didn't That's you? That's how good. Because I ain't no do that. Yeah. He's cooking for yeah, a do it. He's cooking for a whole bunch. But I literally could have. Si so just peeled that outside layer off of all three of them. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. no He's a bark <laughs> man. Hey, get the bark. <laughs> that's where I get but it. hey, whew, that uh, thing was fine. Oh, that's I'm good. It was well, good. It's a poor man's brisket. Yeah. Uh, well, let's take another break. We'll be back. We're going to get in that duck call room hello, bag right man. after this. Duckcallroom.com. And we're back. Back. Look. We're in that hello, H-E-L-L-O, at duckcallroom.com mailbag. If you have thoughts, questions, concerns, any of that kind of stuff, make sure you uh, send them to us, and we'll try to do our best to filter through them and get to them. Johnny D., what's in there this week? Oh, boy, he already saw. Um, Let's start with this guy. Patrick and his son Samuel uh, went dove hunting on opening day, Mm. uh, and he was struggling. He shot a whole box of shells just to kill the first four doves, and he finally figured out he had his extra full choke in from mm. duck season. Ooh. So he wants to know uh, our best gear bloopers from hunting, which I'm sure you have a bunch of. Gear so, bloopers. Like nope. forgetting boots or waders. How about forgetting your shotgun? Because I did that one morning. You forgot a shotgun? Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I made it to the hole, and everybody had all their stuff, and I said, well, where's my gun? <laughs> wasn't there it was back at the camp uh, that, a that shotgun's the, vital well see but that you was the last time waiters. you you get there and this falls under that rule of never touch another man's equipment uh-oh yep i was told yeah i'll get you stuff i get it okay mm. well then didn't i'm gonna happen. go do this yeah it didn't happen well my stuff wasn't got and that's my fault for not checking before we left i'll i'll, I'll wear that part of it but that's and duck hunting, just make sure all your stuff gets to the boat or the four wheeler or however you get in there. You're in charge of it. I mean, I, I can blame it on them all I want to, but it's my fault. So when I got there, I was like, "Well, well I I'm guess what? this is a spectator sport right. this I, morning, I'm, boy." I'm watching this morning. Yeah. Hey, mine is it's bad enough, you know, if you forget your gun. Yeah. Uh, but hey, mine was worse than that. Uh oh. I had my gun. But unfortunately, I didn't have no bullets. Oh. And hey, it ain't no good without the bullets. <laughs> you need <laughs> bullets. You Unless have you bullets. just want to practice, you know, swinging. You know, tell me, okay. Well, I've been a part of some bloopers that are, I guess I could tell. <laughs> so I, I fell face first out of a duck blind one morning. Yeah, Does that count that as was, a blooper? That was a good one. I'll never forget that one. <laughs> Martin was leaning hey. towards the front of the blind. And, the only and, problem was there, there was nothing yeah. there. But and I, I can answer the question about if you're if there's no one there to hear it. Does a giant oak tree that falls in the forest make a noise? Yes, it does. Because I watched Martin fall out of a duck blind one morning. Okay, when a giant a giant falls. There's noise. There's noise, boys. <laughs> also, concrete wire tore down, raider, waders ripped, and all yeah. caught on GoPro. So it's a good time. <laughs> oh, but I looked over at Phil one day. He had a pair of channel locks with one of those screw-in chokes. He had kick, kicks choke, and he was just <laughs> rank, rank, rank. I said, Phil, that shouldn't be that difficult. To yeah, yeah it, it goes, might no, be cross no. that it. I said, hey, you got the wrong choke. He said, no, this is the same one I've been using. <laughs> Guess what? Wrong choke. Yeah, yeah. Oh no! Nice. No, he put a he put a uh, oh. yeah he put a Beretta choke into a Benelli shotgun. Well, no, <laughs> that's that's not going oh, and well. it, it was getting in there one way or another. Well, right. Channel lock. Yeah. Get him, boy. Hey. Yeah, because he still had like a half inch of space between the choke and his gun barrel, and that's as far as he could get it yeah. in there. But let me tell you something. It was tight. Yeah, it wasn't coming. <laughs> it out. wasn't it coming, coming out. out. <laughs> my my best blooper is the same exact blooper. Martin, you were there for what well, was it, a bunch of teal. Whenever I aimed up when to you shoot clicked on them. and click, yeah, mm-hmm. and then I also did that on a turkey head a couple of years Ooh, ago. Same click. gun, and you pull, Martin said it was just watching. He said this is going to be fantastic. Oh, that was the and worst. nobody ever shot. Yeah, yeah, that was the worst one I had happen to me was in Abilene, Texas. Abilene. Yeah, we're we're pig hunting. 
You're okay. A pig. We go up there, and the guy hands me the rifle and says, "It's ready. It's loaded. It's ready." So we're sitting there. He said, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get the four wheeler, and I'll be back in about ten minutes." You know. So we're sitting there, yo, know, and look down there. Okay, it's the doe down there under the feeder. Then the doe, I see her leaving. I said, whoa, 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 what is that? Ooh, that's a good pick. I said, you ready, cameraman? He said, I'm ready. So I raised that 30 out 6 up, put it to my shoulder, get the, the night scope on it, and click. So this thing's a bolt action, so I just, well, he forgot to put one in the barrel, so I just, <laughs> you know, slamming home, thinking it's, it's loaded, so get back on the pig and click. click. He hey, boy, didn't put no bullets in my stupid gun. That's good, you Barney know? Five. No. Yeah. <laughs> so good. that taught me, okay, this guy, he's doing this for a living. He's a guy, and he said the gun was ready. Now, like you said, it was my own fault. Yeah. I should have checked to make uh, sure I had a stupid up, did, bullet did in you, the gun. Did you get your shotgun out of the duck blind? Uh, uh -oh. No, you, but you did. <laughs> I did. I got it for you, though. Well, hey, hey, like, I checked. I'm like, Martin, I said, okay, you have your old stone? Yeah, okay. I, Don't I worry, said, Si. I, I, you, yeah. You're the exception to this well, rule. Well, I'm no, going to no. take care of your no, stuff. Well, no, no. So I know. I you know don't worry you about it. Hey, every champion needs a good cat. The rest no, of them, no. they're on their own. Yeah. 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 There you go. <laughs> Call you Steve Williams. Right. When I every die, every champion needs a good cat. When I cat. die, yeah. they're, they're, the Robertson bunch is in trouble. Oh, yeah. Because Stone's quitting. That's it. <laughs> he ain't going anymore. He ain't going to be near as fun. <laughs> All right, Johnny D. What else we Our got? Our next email. I'm going to use this guy's whole name because his last, his middle name is Merritt, and his last name's Robertson. Uh oh, Merritt Robertson. I don't okay. think he's. I don't know if y'all are related or not. We may be. Oh boy. Uh, but he is talking about weight loss. So here's the deal. You know, Santa Claus up in the North Pole has helpers to go to malls and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, this old boy here is one of Santa's helpers. In Georgia at the Atlanta Bass Pro Shop. So he's a stand-in. Yeah. yeah. He, he helps Santa out to, you know, sit Can't on be his everywhere. Lap. So his problem is he wants to lose weight. <laughs> but you Santa. But he's also Santa Claus. So he's thinking about he wants to go down to from 210 to 175 for his 50th high school reunion. This guy's got to be a great Santa. Um, so what should he do? Uh, he should did. he wait till after Christmas? Or just start slowly. Well, where is he at right now? 210? 210? That's not a very big sound. Well, it depends on how tall you are. That's a good point. <laughs> I yep. disagree, yeah. though. What? No. You're going to put way more smiles on children's faces being Santa Claus <laughs> yeah. than anybody. Nobody at your high school reunion going to care what you look like no. after 50 years. But unless you show up but, as Santa Claus. But there ain't going to be but seven of them left, probably. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you know. Don't, do it, don't do it for the class reunion. No, do it for the children. Do it for the hey, children. That's right. Do it for the kids. It's all After for the I children. get in shape and I get all white hair, I'm going to tell you. You're Stone, way I'm more out. important going as to the Santa. Mall. You're way more important as Santa as you would be a 175 person. Yeah, but December 26th, I mean, yeah. if you want to lose you a yeah. few, but as long as you're back by, you know, December the 10th next year, that's fine. You're solid. You got to be consistent as, hey, as a Santa Because you got me up. curious. I would like to see you as Santa. Si, you could be a fine one. A merit robber? Oh, I did while well, I was in the Army. You were Santa? Yeah. <laughs> Why are we just yeah. now hearing this? Now, they had to use a lot of pillows Bro, and see. Uh, yeah. all kind of stuff to make me look chubby. Okay, but I had to ho, ho, ho down. <laughs> Yeah. That is one. Uh, uh, no. What a, if you're listening and you want to hire Sai as Santa Claus? Uh, no, no, that's no. terrifying. Holler at me for the job. I'll book him for ten percent. And that's then fine. we got a couple Black Panther uh -oh. sightings. There he is, boys. Oh, what? Long uh -oh. tail, oh, big no. black cat. Oh, I don't believe no. it. Uh, this one is from hey, Kevin in Central South Carolina. It's a house cat. Boys. Hey, uh, the cat lack boys, South Carolina. That, I don't know. What do you think? Mark, we know what me and Zy si think. We'll never. Right, that one has the gait of a that dog. That looks like a black lab. <laughs> that one has uh, the gait of a dog. Yeah, that be true. Oh, that's a dog. It. That's a dog. All right, that we're calling no. a dog. What do you think, Zy? Si? Look at this. Yeah, tail. that's a dog. Yeah, I'll think Cats don't move. All right, like that. <laughs> no. Kevin. Yep, yep. Now that I've looked at it, it looks like a dog. All yeah. right, Kevin. Even size. Nice though. try. <laughs> Upstate <laughs> South yeah. Carolina. The Carolina Panthers are actually just Labrador Retrievers. And our last email is from good. John Hudson uh -oh. from North 
Louisiana. Oh, boy. Here we go. Sai's got a buddy. Uh-oh. What is that? Zoom in. I'm Hold on. What does it say? That's the spy point, Martin. I know what it is. <laughs> That's a big old cat there now. That is a <laughs> large house cat standing to a small tree. That's <laughs> fine. Standing next to a small tree. Si, what do you think? Now. That's John from I don't know. North Louisiana. That I don't know. It's on September seventh at huh. six thirty PM. Yeah, the, the 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 tail being curled up like that. What is it, Si? Uh, makes me think it's a cat. Boy, that one that's that's well, no, that is a cat, but I don't I'm not stoned. That's probably taken with a little, little camera trickery here. Do what now? Whoa! Yeah, it may be trickery on he the camera. He don't believe. He don't believe. He's got a big belly on it. Well, him. no, no, because, so hey, he he's not like that stupid giant bobcat we had the picture of. What do you mean? It, the, that thing was huge. This here is <laughs> I, like stone. I'm, I'm like stone. That's a house cat, and it's probably taken by a camera at a pretty good distance. I'd say it's a house cat. Martin? Well, that's not near as fun as I thought it would be. That's actually a cat that was on my trail camera that me and Hunter superimposed on oh, another picture. Okay. We thought we'd have some. I thought going. I'd have you. <laughs> no. no. He, see, he's here, not big uh, enough. Look, here's the original, Stone. Yeah, look. Not, Text that oh, to me real quick. I'll throw it up on the screen. Here's, yeah. the, here's the original. <laughs> Okay. Look, y'all always try to give me shouts and say uh, something. Yeah, here's, me and Hunter did that on opening day of teal season, oh, you know, because the hunting yeah. was so good. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, I love it. They're trying to check me, boys. We can't check There's you. the original. There's the There's the, cat. the original. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah, that's that right. was off of my trail camera. That looks then, like Sweet Pea. And then we had some fun with it. Yeah, so. sweet. Sweet Pea got out there. Last night. Oh, Sweet Pea's belly dragged the ground. There ain't no way that's Sweet Pea. <laughs> that is well, good stuff. That's Martin? Plus he not, models. Hey, he's a Black Panther expert. You're not going to fool the man. Well, we tried. In yeah, the words of George W. Job, Bush, you job. fool me once, can't fool me again. Yeah, shame on you. Shame <laughs> on you. <laughs> hey, like fool, fool me, can't All right. fool again. Well, look, in the, in the traditional mailbag, we have a letter. I'm just going to read it real quick from... Man, it's an interesting first name. Shenandoah and Gary. It's a Shenandoah Falls. Uh, yeah, um, but it says Duck Call Room. My name is Shenandoah. I'm an artist of this card, which, by the way, look, I don't know. It's kind of a white card. Yes, yes, you are. That is cool. Shenandoah. It's a green wing teal on the front, hand-painted. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, which is actually what made like caught my eye to make me yeah. open it. I was yeah. like, man, that's cool. But anyway, she's the artist. I hope you like it. No, we don't like it. We love it. I also paint prophetic art during uh, praise and worship at my church in Kokomo, Indiana, way oh, down okay. in Kokomo. Yeah, Indiana. Uh, yeah, Indiana. <laughs> my <laughs> husband, you. Gary, and I love your podcast and Unashamed. I guess I'll leave that in there since Phil and yeah. Jason. Oh, yeah. They like they the adult the old, podcast. The old geezers, they yeah. got a pretty good show. Said, they over, got a pretty good yeah. podcast. Overall, yeah. we're fans, but we're bigger fans of Jesus. He saved our lives after many years of alcohol slash drug addiction. I have watched your testimonies about getting through COVID. True testimony of faith. Jesus restored our 20-year marriage after an eight-year fight to get and stay sober together. A walk of faith. Love your show. Thank you. So, Shannon Doe and Gary, that that's is, awesome. Hey, that is awesome. It's awesome. Y'all got yeah. through it together. You stayed committed to yep. one another. And thank you for staying committed to Jesus. Amen. And because thank he, you. He's not got you back. And thank you for the awesome card. The drawing yep. is great. But yep. look. She put her favorite verse in here. So that's what we're going to close with this week. We're going to close with her favorite verse. I actually, this is one that I think we use often. We may have already used it, but I don't know if we have or not. But we're going to read it again. And it is Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Well, we can't say. Hey. So, and that is a good one. Hmm. That is a good one. Yeah. Shannon Doe and Gary, thank yeah. you so much for the yep. card. That was awesome. We're we're going to continue to lift you guys up that you continue to stay clean and sober and that your marriage thrives. Thank you all so much. We've had fun this week here in the that Duck Call Room. That and was we're a out. lot of fun. I had fun today, Si. All right. Well, good for you, Jason.